Um, now, our next guest is a judge on The Great British Bake Off alongside Paul Hollywood, but now Prue Leith has taken over Saturday mornings as well with her brand new cookery show. Yeah, it's lovely. Serving mm, up an array of mouth-watering meals from her beautiful home in the Cotswolds. Prue's got just the recipe for your weekend. I'm Prue Leith, cook, restaurateur, cookery school founder and writer of 15 cookbooks. Looks good, doesn't it? I'm in my 80s, so I haven't got time to waste. This series is all about the things that really matter to me. Family, <laughs> fun, food and friends. And some of those friends will be joining me. Oh, yeah. We'll be sharing simple home-cooked recipes. But I don't normally tell people about that bit. Only people I like. <laughs> And my long-suffering husband, John, is coming along for the ride. Can you make that? Um, under instruction. <laughs> Welcome to my Cotswold kitchen. And oh. Prue joins us this morning, I meet. And it is actually your house, isn't it? Yes, it is my it's house. It's actually your house. It's actually... Because I always think all the best stuff happens in the kitchen. The chats, the food, the wine. Absolutely. Has it Absolutely. been fun shooting it at your place? It has been, you know, and one of the best things about it has been, you know, that normally if you're filming, you mm. have to get up at quarter to five in the morning to mm. travel an hour and a half to get there. Mm. I wait for Bambi, my makeup lady, to bang on the bedroom door and say, it's eight o'clock, get up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like Bette Davis or something. I love it. <laughs> the fact that you have a makeup artist is called Bambi as well, just adds to the glamour <laughs> for me. Ah, for, it really adds yeah, to the glamour. Um, Can we just have a little mention, because you live in a beautiful part of the world in the Cotswolds. Beautiful. And your house is a house that you and John built yourselves, didn't we did, you? We did. Because it is, I mean, it's, it's an important ingredient in the recipe of the show, isn't mm -hmm. it? Well, yes, it is. And you know, there's, I don't think there's nothing so such fun and so satisfying as nesting. You know, making your perfect nest. And we both have similar taste. And so the whole way through lockdown, we were building our new house. So neither of us regretted leaving the house. I mean, I had lived for 48 years in my previous house. Wow. Uh -huh. So it w would have been a big wrench, but because we have the new house to think yeah. about. And I love that house. It's very, very modern. I mean, a lot of people think, oh, my God, you can't build something like that in the Cotswolds. Why not? But we got planning permission with no trouble at all. Yeah. Beautiful. It is beautiful. And John is a big part of the show, too. I know. I'm beginning to think he's too much of a big <laughs> yeah. part of the show. No, he's brilliant. When he comes with his champagne twizzlers oh, to get the bubbles it's out... It's monstrous, I that. think it's sacrilege. <laughs> of course it's sacrilege. But, but, he, but he insists that when you throw a dinner party, everybody comes with him and his little... I know. He, he's very, he takes the bubbles out of champagne. I mean, I, as I said, that you know... The makers of the champagne have taken 10 <laughs> years to get those bubbles in there. And he wants to remove them. And he yes. wants to remove them. It's absolutely sacrilege. If I'd known he had that twizzly thingy, I would not have... I would have made sure it wasn't... So you didn't know he got I that? I had no idea he was going <laughs> to do that. And is that the technical term, <laughs> the twizzly thingy? <laughs> I think it's called... A, a debubbler. A twizzler. A twizzler. Twi anyway, whatever it is. But the two of you, what is clear, Prue, is the two of you are a great team. You know, you well, have... we do have a good time. Yeah. And we have a very happy um, time anyway. I mean, he's mostly in the garden and I'm mostly in the house. But uh, we did it all together. And, and you know what's been fun about this show particularly is that, you know, in most cookery shows, the home economists come with a sort of backup chickens and backup yes. everything so that you can make a mistake and then get it absolutely perfect. Well, we didn't have time to do any of that. We just charged on. And so we never, ever cooked anything twice. Really? We just... I just did it on camera. Yeah. And however it, it came didn't out, work, it? tough. Yeah. And so quite was. often it goes slightly wrong. And there am I saying... I mean, there's a moment... Yeah. ..when I'm trying to tell the whole world how to take a mango skin off the mango <laughs> on a glass. And I, and I mess it up. It doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. And so I say, oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> and so I give the other half of the mango to John and he does it perfectly. Oh. I mean, it's pretty irritating. <laughs> Darn it. And he'd never done it before. <laughs> Darn it. But I think that's what's so lovely about the show as well, mm. is just how personal it is. It's kind of your house, John's there, you're twinkling away at each other and, <laughs> and, and making jokes with each other. And then you have your friends come in yeah. and it's kind of... I saw the one as well where Sandy was creating a recipe from Enid Blyton that she... Yeah. It doesn't feel like a normal... It feels incredibly personal. 
Well, it is. I mean, uh, nearly everybody that we invited were friends of mine. Yeah. Or they were people who lived in the Cotswolds. Yeah. And, and we did a lot. There's a, there's a strand to it, which I was very keen to have, which we, we called Food Heroes, okay. which were the best cheese maker and the best bread maker and yes. the best um, <clears throat> preserve maker or whatever in the Cotswolds. So because the Cotswolds, we're really lucky because we do have fantastic yeah. farmers. It's, they're all small, small farms. Mm and mostly family. Farms. And to be able to support that and, and promote that is yeah. wonderful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's good fun. Absolutely. There was big concern uh, in the This Morning team at the start of this week, Prue, <laughs> when there was rumours that you were leaving Bake Off. Uh, now, we need to put these rumours to bed. What is the truth this here, Prue? This is absolutely Lee? not true at all. I'm still doing the Great America, uh, American Baking Show. I'm right. still doing the Great British Bake Off, which good. is two, the two main shows of Bake Off. Mm. What I'm not doing this year is the... Um, celebrity one yeah. and it's mainly because these things are filmed back to back the whole way through the summer so you start in April and you end at the end of August and honestly you get no time off and right. so I'm getting a bit old and there are places I want to go to and, I, and other things I want to do. I, it wasn't that, so you've done the most recent version of Celebrity Bake Off. Our derma is in it. Uh, what, you know, we're looking yeah, forward to it. The one it, I, wonder, I was wondering, Prue, whether it was because you'd peaked. You realised now that Dermot's been in it, you don't need to do anymore. <laughs> There's no, you've had your favourite celebs in. Well, no, I don't think so much that. I really don't <laughs> think it's so much that. I think, um, yes, I mean, I, I'm in this year's celebrity, the ones that we're seeing now. Yeah. Um, but I won't be. Fun. Thanks, and how did Alison get on in your kitchen? I saw yes. the brownies, they look delicious. Do you know, Alison has now made that brownies on television so often. <laughs> I, I think it's high time she learned to make something else. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell her when I see her. <laughs> anyway, she has but she is old. such fun. I mean, <clears throat> she's wonderful on Bake Off. She's one, she was wonderful in my show because... Alison cannot be anything but herself. So right. and you know from this morning. Dream. She just she can't be directed. She just does what she's <laughs> going to do. I remember the director the, just yeah. said you were telling me. When she first came on to Bake Off, one day she said um, to the to a baker, that on her first morning, she uh -huh. said, Well, that's so delicious. She said, I can tell you something, you're not going home. She said, <laughs> I said, Alison, she, he might... You know how Bake Off works. Yes, yeah. of course. The next day, you can have a terrible day. Aww. You can't promise him he's I not love going it. I love you have to tell her off. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Thank we're out you. Of time. Thank you for coming in. Uh, best of luck with the series as well. It's, yeah. it's absolutely delightful, isn't it? Beautiful. Thank you. Well, I'm glad Thank you, you love it. Thank Lovely you.